All right, so in this video, I'm going to explain to you two ways you can reduce the EMF that is emitted from your Wi-Fi router. And just a quick recap, there are three main types of EMF, electric fields, magnetic fields, and radio frequency radiation. Now, specifically with your wireless devices, you know, like a Wi-Fi router, we're interested in the radio frequency radiation. So that's what this video is going to be about, how to decrease the radio frequency radiation emitted. Now, there are two ways. The first way is, well, I have to kind of explain the situation. Old Wi-Fi routers just had one signal, 2.4 gigahertz usually. Now, in the last few years, uh, many people have had new Wi-Fi routers delivered to their home or someone's come in and installed them. And those ones actually have, the newer ones, a lot of them have two signals, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. So it's a massive increase in the radio frequency radiation exposure that we get being around those. So the, the supposed benefits of this is that, you know, for example, if you're an Airbnb, you're doing that, you would give the guests the password to the uh, 5.8 8 gigahertz the faster the better one and then you would use the the owner would use the 2.4 gigahertz and so they wouldn't be competing for internet usage and things like that but obviously if you're on this page you you understand that the downside of that is going to be an uh, you know a huge increase in, in exposure to emf that we want to mitigate or completely remove so the first easy thing you can do is log into your IP address settings and find something that looks like this basic settings and somewhere in there there will be a place which has enable 2.4 gigahertz and a tick box enable 5 gigahertz and a tick box and all you have to do is untick the 5 gigahertz or 5.6 gigahertz or 5.8 gigahertz whatever it is untick that and click save and that part's done. You've just you've just turned off the five gigahertz one, so you're back to what it was uh, many years ago. So you've 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 removed a huge source of of radiation just by doing that. The second thing you can do is decrease transmit power percentage. So what you find is you go into advanced settings and you'll find something that looks like this transmit power percentage or just transmit power and it's the default setting this is the unfortunate thing about this the default settings for these new ones is to have the 2.4 going the 5 gigahertz going and for them both to be at 100 percent so that's no good so we removed the 5 gigahertz turn that off next thing we can decrease this percentage so its default setting is 100%. You could put it down to 75%, maybe 50%, maybe even go maybe even go put it back to 25% and just see if that does what you need and then you can you can move it up to 50 or 75. Basically what this does is it's going to reduce uh, the power density and lower the range that the the wi-fi signal is kind of effective at so for example a lot of people because it's set default for 100 percent have you know perfect wi-fi like in their backyard but you obviously don't need that so by putting it down 75 percent 50 percent you're probably going to get you know no signal in your backyard but that's a good thing and you, you've got less radiation exposure there so that's a really easy thing you can do two of them Depends on your provider, what country you're in, the the method to do this. But basically, you need to get into the Wi-Fi router, the modem settings, and then look through for basic settings, advanced settings. Obviously, using Ethernet, a wired connection is always better. You want to get this down to zero if possible. And the last thing I'll quickly mention is there is an interesting article here that I think it's written by people in the industry. And it's interesting because there's many other benefits to adjusting these settings other than simply reducing your exposure to radio frequency radiation. And there's some good comments on this article as well. So that's what I'll finish this video with. Good luck and uh, let me know how you go in the comments below.
I'd just like to add that, you know, if we could get hundreds of thousands of people, millions on board with this, reducing the transmit power and turning off the signals they're not needing and turning off the routers outright when they're not using them at night time, we would be able to drastically reduce the electrosmog, the uh, radio frequency radiation soup that is what's so sort of saturating cities. So if you if you live in a city, then you really need to take this area of health quite seriously because you know in a city people are packed together. Everyone's got you know phone, laptop, and a router, lots of wireless devices, and we're creating a sort of a soup in those places. So if you live in a city, then or you have uh, family or friends that live in a, a city, then you should send this to them so that because those people need this information the most.